Welcome everyone. As we go today, concluding mask week, I've got the volcano a monster truck van thing. Uh, it's big selling. I guess probably big selling point is it was motorized, and for once, I actually remembered to pull the batteries out of this one, so there's no crazy corrosion in that one. So I may have to go out and buy some C cell batteries and give it a try, see if they're uh, working still. Uh, but oops, something just fell off there. Uh, just water. <laughs> okay, but uh, it had attack mode, normal mode. I think the attack mode would activate the mechanism as it went along. Power switch. But uh, then basically, this one's trick is it. You hit the back, hit the back bumper, and it splits up, and you got the turret up top. And there's some, two more. Uh, that's a little bit loose on that one, but two more that come out the sunroof. <laughs> and these were supposed to be weapons as well. And it also had you pull these out. Well, they aren't supposed to come all the way out, but they're just get them out just enough. They're you know buzz saw blades to tear up. <laughs> you know to attack ram into people and cut them up old James Bond style um, but uh yeah that's I say that's all the mechanics of it uh, I did when I was cleaning it I knocked the, uh, the sticker off the inside console I'd already lost this sticker but let's see and it just sort of you fold the gun the gun back and it goes oops punch those in <laughs> having trouble remembering how this one worked and then locks back into van mode <laughs> sunroof um, easiest way to driven by Jacques Lefleur French Canadian lumberjack guy evidently is his backstory he had the Mirage mask which is a uh, it basically from what I was reading is a force field and he's the driver. This little in there. And yet another mat tracker. He's got the lava shot mask, and this one evidently shoots out molten bits of metal to attack people with. He was the co-pilot slash gunner. Oh, yes, he go. Oh, he didn't have been in here. And what I've found since I got this thing, or rediscovered this thing anyway, it's an ejector seat. <laughs> so they sh they should have put some kind of restraint system in there to keep him in there from when you maybe. Wedge him in there a little bit. And maybe, I don't think that's going to be enough to keep him in there. But let's give him another shot. Yep. A little better, but not. He still flew. <laughs> so you can't. You know, that's. That's how they operated. You know, I guess this is supposed to be armor around the cockpit and driver and you know, his weapons. And, uh, let's say it. Uh, trying to think of anything. I say, I think I'm pretty sure the big deal on this one was it was motorized. For those of you who are familiar with the original stomper trucks, that's basically a big stomper truck because it was a rear wheel drive. There's no nothing in the front. It's you can hear the clutch back here. Um, but I say that was going. I remember get this was a birthday present. I got it. I don't know how old I was, but I remember distinctly that it was. A birthday present from my mom. Well, my parents, I guess. Okay, that's a. But you know, she was the one who actually bought it. Cause I, <laughs> uh, but anyway, let's say that's the volcano. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're digging what I'm doing, make sure and subscribe. Uh, got plenty more where this came from, and I'm I'm leaning towards next week doing a sort of more eclectic, not a, having a specific. 
theme, but I've got three or four, you know, I've still got some oddball stuff that I want to knock out before I do anything else. So I'm going to probably knock them out. Then I'll move back in, probably back into GI Joe because I got a whole lot of those. But I say next week, I'm planning on being sort of an eclectic sort of look at what this one is toys toy week. So hope y'all enjoy that. See you next time.